Hey friends, it is math time today. Um, today we're going to um, work on identifying and building with solid shapes. So um, before we get started, let's practice counting. I want you to watch me hit the table like a drum and count to seven. When I hear seven, I'm going to stop. All right, watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I stopped on seven. How many times did I hit the table? Say seven times. The last number you say tells you how many. Practice counting um, and, and um, patting the table or your leg or a drum if you have one at home. And we're going to stop when we hear the number seven. What number are we going to stop on? That's right. Seven. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five six, seven. Stop. Good job. See if you can practice hitting a drum or a pretend drum and counting to other numbers all the way up to 10. Let's get started with today's lesson. So right now, the first thing we're going to do before we build with the shapes, we are going to look at some solid shapes and I'm going to make a ramp with some materials that I have right here. These are my shapes. And these are my materials. I have a block from construction and I have an applesauce. You can use a can at home or you can use a shoebox top, whatever you have. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make um, what shapes roll and what shapes slide um, down the ramp. All right. I'll turn the applesauce over and here I go. So remember this shape? This shape has two flat sides that our circles and it's round in the middle. Let's see what happens when we do the shape like this. It can slide, but it's not rolling. Let's see what happens if we put it on the round side. What did it do? It rolled. The cylinder rolled on its side, but it didn't roll on the flat surfaces. Let's try another shape. Here is the cone. The cone has a point on the top, and a flat surface that's a circle. Let's see if it will slide or roll. Well, it'll slide, not rolling. Let's see what happens if we put it on the round part. Oh, it rolled a little bit, but it rolled really weirdly. This one rolled straight down, but the cone rolled sideways. I think it has something to do with the size not being even. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the next shape does. This is a long cylinder. Oop, it won't stay up. What happens if we put it on the side? It rolls, of course. Oops, it rolled right out of my hand. All righty, let's do another shape. Here's the cube. There are several flat sides that are squares and there are several corners. Let's see if it'll slide. What if we put it on our side? Will it roll at all? No, this won't roll. Let's look at this sphere. There are no flat sides and there are no corners. So let's see if it'll roll. Of course it'll roll, it's like a ball. Now that we've tested out these shapes and we saw which ones would roll and which ones won't, let's see if we could build with these shapes. These, uh, I'll put the cube down first. Let's see if I can put a ball on top. So the ball stuff uh, stayed on top. Let's see if I can put something else up there. You think I can? Oh, what happened? The ball rolled. Let's see if I do this. Oh, does that work? No. Um, let's see if we put this there. This looks like a, a head with a cone on top. Let's see if I can put something else on top. Oh, it won't stay. It won't stay. Why won't it stay? You're right, because there isn't a flat surface. Let's see if we could build a different way. We'll build, this is our cube, cylinder, and another cylinder. And let's see if I can place the cone on top. It stayed. Let's see if I can put the ball on top. Balance it. Oh, it almost stayed to stay for a little bit. Oh, it won't stay up there, but that's pretty cool. Why were we able to stack these shapes? Do you know why? What's different? What's the difference between this shape and this shape? You're right. There are flat surfaces on the cylinder 
And the ball, the sphere is just round. It's You can't build on something that's round. You can stack it, but it has to be on top. Because if you put anything on top of it, it rolls off. I hope you have fun building. Go ahead and use some shim shapes at home and see if you how high you can stack them. And see what shapes roll and which ones don't. Happy fun learning, friends. Bye.